Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land. Please slay the spire, dude. Again, ironclad, crushing it. Everybody else is 50-50. Maybe 25-75 is a better way to describe it. The silent, we won last time. I still don't remember if I accidentally did the same ascension I had already done. You know, I'm okay losing bag of prep. For a starting relic. And we get extra energy. I mean, Sozu is really, really, really good. I think. What I'm going to do is engage in as much combat as possible here. I think we got an extremely positive roll by getting Sozu. So what's the next step? I swear, every week the mouse controls in this change. Either that or my brain is slowly deteriorating. Which I guess in a literal sense it is for, you know, everybody on planet Earth. But you know what I mean. Hmm. We're not going to take damage here. We're going to come close, though. Four energy early on is just such an incredible advantage. You know, you're 33% stronger. And out of these... Usually, I think I would look to Quick Slash, but because we have so much energy, I think that we can afford to get, like, you know, the decks out there as early as possible. Really, the only reason we're going to take damage is if we find ourselves drawing less than two defense per turn. So, something that, you know, mitigates that risk, I guess, by making our uh, defense that much better is worth something. Toss that away. Dude, this is not... A challenge whatsoever so far so this is exactly enough damage so far so good we of course and this is expensive but we can afford it right now whenever possible we want to try to make the shiv deck work but don't get too invested yet we'll start with a backstab as well do a cheap leg sweep as well this is a deck that could go in many different directions right now and is beautiful as a result totally fine with the upgrade you know what i'm gonna say don't worry so much about the golden idol because i just lost some hp and we're going to focus on you. Didn't need to play both, I suppose. You know, knowing that there's two elites here, we just want to, you know, we, we took one HP gambit. We're going to let the rest sort of simmer a little bit. So we're going to take six damage. It's not that bad. Dazes are a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, I mean, that's worth ten already, so we should just start working on you, I think. We need to fight two elites, which is where things get dangerous. Two elites before we rest, I should say. Ten blocks, we'll just go here, here, here. Realistically, we could kill you next turn, but we probably won't because of the amount of dazes in the deck. And yeah, you see for yourself the, the truth of that. So we just got this guy screwed over so that we can uh, weaken him if necessary if we draw and neutralize. And that's not going to happen. We'll wait for one more turn. As of right now, though, if you were to rank me on, like, an optimism scale, I would describe myself, like, my optimism is at, like, an 8 right now. I think Sozu is something we normally don't get until later. To pick it up early is a pretty big uh, coup for us, to be honest. And if you're not that good at Slay the Spire, that's an important time for you to strike. Elite's having 25% less HP. Honestly... Couldn't really ask for this to show up any earlier, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's like the right time. And I'm going to take in Venom. Uh, just heal me. Absolutely. I'm going to take in Venom. Uh, I guess we'll try to stall. My idea here being that, you know, in Venom... At least allows us to work towards either a Shiv or a Poison deck. So I think it's a... It's a good call either way. So we had to go on him this turn. We also got to apply two turns of weakness, which is worth a lot. Um, so we'll put up almost enough block. I gotta think about this first. Oh, no, I don't. Could we just play our hand? We'll put up exactly, uh, well, not exactly, more than enough block. And this guy is actually completely screwed. We only need to hit him for 12 next turn. Which means we actually only need to hit him for five. Dude, easy mode. Okay. Nunchuck. I don't really like it, to be honest, but it's okay. And I think we can make Bane uh, 
work for us as well. Or a Calcum is fine. Obviously, obviously I'm a fool. I do want to fight this other elite, but we'll fight that one instead. Runic Dodecahedron. Good enough. I think it's unlikely we'll be able to, you know, make it work just yet. But, in fact, we may not be able to make it work, like, basically ever. Because we never heal to full. But we'll see. For now, like, mostly I look at this and I go, Orichalcum is really good. So here we don't have to defend if we don't want to. Um, I look at it and I say, a one cost in Venom is really good and allows us to spec into a variety of different builds. I don't think we need two leg sweeps yet. One day we may reach that point. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will fight an elite man. That does not bother me. Now, I wish we could draw in Venom on turn one. That's kind of an important part of the process here. Uh, I'm going to let you hit me for ten. Just to, We haven't really done very much damage to you so far. We're definitely going to let you hit us again here. We're only taking two damage, and you are basically screwed. That hurts. Um, let's try it like this. It does work out for us. He's dead next turn. We'll rest. I don't think our rest is even going to take us to full HP. Maw Bank is pretty nice, though. And uh, I think we don't need the other attacks. Oh, we still have another elite, of course. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Multiple elites. They have come for your uncool niece. It's okay, we got the energy. Honestly, I think we should. We're going to kill him next turn in all likelihood anyway. Shovel. Very good. Not really useful immediately, but still. Who are we fighting? It's so tempting to dig instead of going for the rest, but we'll do it this way. And I'm happy we are doing it this way. Plus, well, it doesn't really matter what we play there. Um, I want to invent him out there early so we can do as much damage as possible, but... It is what it is, I suppose. I did think twice about Tools of the Trade. I'm not actually sure that this is very good for us. But we haven't had it in a while. So this is a terrible turn. He's not going to split. We're only going to take one damage, which is actually... Well, it's making me rethink that whole terrible turn business, but... Are we going to go on him this turn? We need to take him down to 75. Um... Preferably, I think, on this turn, we'd like to get him as close to rolling over as we can. This will take him to 80. Sorry, this will, he's at 81, I should say. So this will take you below 75. So I actually think we'll just weaken you. I know we take another debuff as a result, but as long as we can go to town on you this turn, it's well worth it. Yeah, so he's going to leave two enemies with 50 HP instead. Is that better? Yeah, I mean, I would say. Better than what we were trending towards, maybe. I would love to get um, the poison that jumps between enemies when an enemy with poison dies. You're going to split into a pretty strong fellow, unfortunately. This is where we suffer just the slightest bit because we have, like, no crowd control at all. You're so close to death. Very frustrating. Uh, but that means you'll die next turn. If we had a dagger spray, these guys would be in trouble. This hasn't been my strongest fight. I think we, we, you know, went for it at some inopportune times. It's all right. Taking no damage. Probably should focus this guy first, but this guy was attacking. Dump that. Riddle with holes. Should take you real close. 12 damage. Your act well with Aura Calcum, it doesn't really matter, so we'll just make sure you die next turn. Yeah, so some top end would be nice here, and I gotta be honest, with Venom, we do want to start adding like shiv cards to the deck whenever possible. Still gonna take a little damage here. Like I said, glad we rested. It probably wouldn't have made a difference, but it might have. Okay, two enemies with nine HP. 
Slow start. That's okay. We'll get there. Dump these slimes out of the deck. We gotta start thinking about what we want from the boss. And I'm really... Oh, right off the bat, I'm thinking about cards. Honestly. It is that kind of game. I think you just go straight to Adrenaline for more draw. Lay that hurt on with Envenom. Discard two cards at the start of each turn. Don't like it. I, I think we would rather... Transform three cards. Than go for like Hovering Kite. So I think I'm just going to transform three strikes. We haven't picked up... Well, we picked up one extra defend. Yeah, let's get three strikes. All out attack, Masterful Stab, Flying Knee. Masterful Stab is actually good now. All out attack is pretty decent. Flying Knee is also good. So we don't get any extra bonuses as a result, but still. So I would actually like a, a late shop here if possible, like this shop. So we gotta pretty much take the right path all the way up. It's still two elites. I don't want to use Mob Bank early is the thing. It's worth more later. Well. Don't mind fighting these guys. They're gonna do 22 damage. We had 13 block. We only take 9. Could be worse. Good kill. I do want to play Flying Me, but without any kind of regen, which is definitely something that could, you know, go on the list as something we're interested in. Um, we're kind of stuck. I don't think we can do 30 whatever damage to this guy. Yeah, he is going to get away. These guys have been getting away a lot lately. If we could get a bandage in our shop, that would be nice. Just Or blood vial, of course, if we can get that. Would also be worthwhile, but for now I'm not minding too much. Um... Good face? Raise your eight, max HP 1 after each combat? We have not gotten that good of a face in a long, long time. So, one of these guys... We're gonna get taken care of like so. And then the other one... We're just gonna weaken you. Make sure this guy dies next turn. And he's weak for two turns. Even better. Dude, I... I'm not trying to be, like, super bitter about it. But we have never drawn in Venom on our first turn. We've got a pretty thin deck. I'm just waiting. You know the moment has to happen at some point. I guess we'll knock you out. I didn't really want to lose my uh, Riddle with Holes to do half damage. We could have knocked that guy out instead. But, hey, that went very well. Oh, look what it is. In Venom. Finally decided to show up. How nice of you. I can't stress enough. You know, the run is going very well. And it, it's pretty much 100% a result of the fact that uh, we got Sozu right off the bat. And then some good relics after that point as well. All I'm trying to say is if we can get in Venom within the first couple of turns. Would make my life substantially easier. 18 damage. Okay. Gonna take two. I still think we're fine. We're just not quite at Wombus levels, and that's okay too. No one Venom. So we'll play Footwork. Um, we got four energy. We need to get to 18. So we need to play three of those. Let's play Tools of the Trade along with it. Doesn't bother me. You know we're gonna draw on Venom. Once we draw on Venom, we start to win. Why do you cost one now? Whenever you take damage, increase this card's cost by one. So it's only good if you draw it early. I understand. Dump this. You obviously don't need it. You do need that. Um, you got too much block. Doesn't matter what we play. Should have played Riddle with whole second, I guess. Who would have thought? Okay. Infinite Blades for sure. Neutralize. Man, the defend is not going to be as good as I would like it to be. You should be dead next turn, though. Do we have a rest before our elite? If not, I could actually see this getting a little, a little cumbersome here. You're not gonna die here. I gotta check the map. Okay, we do have a rest before the elite. This guy might be the hardest enemy in the like first half. Later on, when we get like, uh, you know, one of the weird shell creatures plus the other guy off to the side, 
That's a little bit more annoying. Probably not as self-explanatory as I would like. These guys! Yeah! <laughs> Actually, this guy is a pain in the butt. We'd like to kill this guy first, but really we can't do that unless we get Envenom out there. Go ahead and hit me for seven. It hurts, but... We did take care of one of the uh, more annoying enemies to start with here. In Venom, please. I'm really genuinely not trying to be like a jerk. I'm just wondering, like, are we ever going to get in Venom? Because, you know, I can just give up that hope if you want. Is it a heavy card? So when we shuffle, it always gets sent down to the bottom? Like, I don't understand. Uh, instead of baning, I think I'd rather just get an infinite blades out there. The frailty is annoying, dude. The rest isn't even going to be that good for us. That's the dangerous part. So let's get rid of a basic strike. Three energy remaining. Well, I'd love to play a riddle with holes, but let's... Just keep our HP as high as possible. This one's looking, sadly, a little bit more delicate than I'd like to admit. Okay, so we got the poison up. Then we can Bane and it's all over. I don't think we need another Bane yet. And I, I'm saying that mostly because, again, we never seem to draw in Venom early. But I'm hoping that this is going to break that trend. I'm hoping one day we're going to break that trend, is what I meant to say. This guy, uh, he might attack next turn. We probably should have weakened him. Yeah, yeah, we definitely should have weakened him. So, let's dump... I'm going to dump a Shiv. No, because Invenom makes it so much better. But what do you... Dump the Shiv. Get Invenom out there. We can only play three. We probably do want to play all-out attack to kill this guy. Or would we rather knock this guy out? 14. Like, Blade Dance can kill him. I think that's worth slightly more than a... a well, it's worth slightly less than a defend, I guess, now that I think about it. Um, so we want to play this. Get the all-out attack out there. We are taking 20 damage. We really got to go on him this time. Shiv, Flying Knee, Riddle with Holes, Bane. That's as good as it gets. Probably won't kill him next turn. Hopefully won't die ourselves. Let's see. He's got 30-something HP. We only have three attacks. Um, we have five energy. 10, 10. We can get enough block. So I think you actually dump a basic strike. Neutralize this guy. Shiv him as well, because you want him to die as soon as possible after that. But Yeah, we're not taking any damage. We just got to make sure he dies next time. Mildly dicey, but free relic. Please, God, a healing relic. I need a healer! Sneko Skull. Insanely valuable right now. I like backflip, but we needed bullet time. Okay, so just keep yourself alive. Most important thing by far. <gasps> I meant to click on bullet time there. Remember, we're only taking six damage here. It's obviously more than I would like to take, but... If you don't draw a defend, you know, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it. Um, unfortunately. We're in a very, very delicate zone. Acceptable. Okay. Absolutely stack up as much poison as you can. We really need to worry about these dazes, because this guy's going to hit pretty hard. So we want to put as few of those in the deck as possible. I would like to point out, yet again, we have no defense. So I think we're actually just going to die. I don't know what... I, oh, no, we're going to live with one HP. My mistake. Doesn't leave us in a very good spot, but at least this guy is dead. Yeah, dump that, please. Well, we did heal for one. 
Please, God. Fossilized Helix? Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Give me power and... F oh, we can't take him anyway. That's right. Okay, so we just got to live through this fight. One attack, turn one. There we go. Now we're not taking damage. Oh, because of Oricalcum, so you don't even need to play Survivor. Just do that instead. So we're really, really trying to keep this buffer alive and active. Oh my god, we're gonna get there, but just barely. They are gonna heal, because apparently we're not allowed to have Venom out there. What we're mostly worried about is them all attacking on the same turn. Definitely should have played Bane. If they both attack on the same turn, we're gonna have some issues. I'm not gonna say that it's entirely a result of the fact that we can never draw in Venom right off the bat, but, you know, it's partially a result of us never being able to draw in Venom off the bat. Okay, well, it's a little scary. You definitely would play your zero costers. Can't kill you, so we have to play these. One of our last two cards is in Venom. Okay. Get rid of your defend, because this guy is definitely dying. Six four. Six four is actually because of this. This should take you to eight damage. This will take you to being dead. That'll hit you. Do the most damage possible. We're gonna live. Uh, it, it really looks like we're gonna live. I mean, with Oracalcum, he cannot hit us here, so it's even better. But dude, this was. Uh, a very, very spooky start. Yeah, don't let him do that. Everybody say thank you uh, to Fossilized Helix. A card that, you know, were it not for that, we would be in a nightmare zone. So we're just going to let the poison kill him. That way we save Nunchuck for the next uh, opportunity here. We will take a Catalyst. Immediately rest. <laughs> And then, oh, dude. Why did I think that this was going to allow us to uh, put a power in our hand to start with? Frozen egg. We need bottled ice. <laughs> or whatever the card is called. Um, well, I think we another bullet time is not bad. I mean, we have to fight an elite after this, so I'm, I'm nervous. That's a very good upgrade. I mean, those are pretty big improvements. I'm just a little bit concerned about whether or not we have any chance at all to survive here. And uh, I think it's a, it's a justifiable reason for concern. Nineteen. Wow, it's gonna block one. The buffer, I mean. Okay, we're at 15 HP. Master. They're all poisoned. This one's already dead. Okay, this is the dream. You are doing 15 damage. Which is actually only 9 damage. Hold on a second. You're on third. I'm just thinking if I can kill you. I think if I bane you... Let's just look at raw HP. You're at 30... This will take you down to 16 with 8 poison. Yeah, we can get you. We can make this so we only take 1 damage. Which is insanely good. I think we'll die to the second boss, though. Hopefully not, but calipers. Hmm. Could be worth something. We're going to rest. We're only going to have like 38 HP. 38. We really want an early in Venom. It... I hope it's not just me being a fool, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. I hope there haven't been situations where I got in Venom and I just failed to recognize them. Because I really feel like right now the game is like, don't give him in Venom, it's too strong. 
Honestly, just keep this guy weak as long as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Buffer. We do have Envenom now. Uh, I think we like Masterful Stab. Just get rid of the basic strike. Okay, Dagger Spray is very important. We have no block, so get ready to basically eat it. Okay, one enemy's gonna die. We're only gonna take one damage. Envenom is starting to work, dude. I'm telling you, if we can get the Catalyst to actually pop, it's not that bad. We don't need to defend here. So we'll start with Adrenaline. And then there's no draw, so we'll get bullet time out there. One more and you're dead. One more poison. Okay. The frailty is going to be a pain in the butt. We're literally at lethal. We drew one defend. <laughs> um, okay. What would you do here? It's my honest to goodness question for you. Uh, it's actually not even worth playing the defend. We'll just play Oracalcum. You know what? I think you do triple his point. <sighs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You get him later. We can't use it multiple times, so. If we, I, I'm trying to triple his poison into a kill is basically what it comes down to, but I'm pretty sure we are completely screwed. I mean, how could we not be completely screwed here? We have to kill all of them on this turn to make it happen. We can probably... There's one. We killed one. It's a decent start. But we're done after that. Ooh, this one hurt. I really thought we had a good chance, but... Uh... I don't know, just didn't build the deck in the right way. I'll come back with a defect run, but I've been terrible with a defect lately. I feel bad about that one. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!